Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to use the new agent's harbors abilities right here on Ascent and we will start right here on A side with his first ability that I'm gonna show which is Cascade. This, uh, this one costs 150 bucks for it and when you use it, it makes this wall and when you stop it with, with the same button as you used it, it's gonna stand stationary for 5 seconds. So how you can use this? You can use it to hide yourself behind it and have your teammates push you through. I think A main is greatly built for this since you can do always something like this. Simply use your wall and you have your teammates follow it up. And then before it hits right all the way on the top, you just want to stop it so that way it gives you a more cover. Of course, try to use this with some flashes or sky dog or drone right so there. that way you won't have to worry about all of the angles right which are close. That can really make it annoying for you to clear. So right. once again, simply use your wall and have your teammates push behind it. When you are defending here right on A side, you can use it for yourself like this. Simply use it like that and then just peek it. The enemies won't have to expect you and it would be hard for them since you would see them usually one by one and you can get at least few kills by simply doing this. Of course you can use your wall even from this area, however this time you would be supporting your teammates who would be trying to push with it. So have your teammates ready in A main to push with it, so just some, at the beginning of the round use it and have for example jet upraved here or race try to ult there. You can also use it right here on short when you are pushing just simply do this, use your wall like that and clear for yourself the close corners and if you wanna you can use this for pushing super fast and getting yourself a lot of space with it. On B side you can use this to get cover as you can see on the minimap you want the wall to right stop there. anywhere in this area so you can line it up simply like this. You just can simply follow it and be looking at the map and when you think it hits the right spot you just want to stop it and as you can see it gives you a great protection and you can have your teammates right go this way. Very simple and it is very effective since the enemies would not really expect you to do this. Or the other way you can just simply send your wall all the way in the back. Right there on the stairs you can clear it and then you want to stop it before it goes all the way behind the CT. So that way it covers you for a bit here as well. And of course you can use it for stopping for blocking off the view from market just like that. Just do this and enemies would have a hard time trying to peek you and they would have no no way to do this to push it without them revealing them to yourself and you would be always in a better position. Similar as you did on A, you can use this on pushing on B. Just line yourself up with this hallway and then simply use it and have your teammates push with it. As you can see this could create panic in the enemies and if you combine it with for example Sova Dart or Race Knights the enemies might be surprised. Of course, using your wall like this on mid can work fantastic as well. Just simply line, let it line up like this so that way you can push behind it and try to peek anyone who'd be in tiles. As, as you can see, you would get yourself in a great aggressive position and if you had someone to try to help you from short, it would be even more beneficial for you. And as you could have seen, the wall would just simply stop on top of the mid just like that, simply blocking off the buff of the sides so that way there would be that there's no way that the enemies can spray you or see you from the top. And of course, if you are attacking on mid, you can do a very similar thing, just like we did right now. Just simply using it like this, clean close corners, and just simply simply following it up. And as you can see, the wall block once again blocks off this backside. And you could make your way all the way to market if you are working fast and you cooperate with your teammates. Using this on retake would not be a bad idea either. You can do something like this for example. Just simply follow behind the wall, try to clear the gen and as you can see it would block off anyone in A main so they would have no idea that you've jumped here and they cannot help the guy who might be at the A main. And similar as you did on A, you can do this thing on B as well. Just simply send up your wall like this. You wanna stop it at some point so that way you can divide site into a few spots and then you can wait and simply Try to clear more of the site. Try to use this with your teammates so that way they know what you are trying to do. Now let's move on to his other ability, his smoke. This smoke will last 15 seconds if it doesn't get broken. However, you can break it and it has one, f f I mean 500 HP. So enemies can always break it and it would disappear immediately. 
So there can be some lineups that can be helpful for you. First of all, this one when you are attacking. You just want to find this little spot right here and stand on the right corner. Right there. Then you turn around and you place your Corsair. You line up this tip and this tip. So that way they are in the right angle. Just like that. Then you take out your smoke. And you simply throw it. The smoke is gonna land on the dices here, and you can use this as a cover and just simply go and push with it. So that way you will not be worried that right there is someone in heaven trying to kill you through it. Right they would there. have to break it and you would just can simply push on the right side of it and it gives you quite a lot of time as well. If you are here in backside and you know that the enemies are pushing and you want to block this block this entrance off you just want to simply hug the back side of the wall and aim in the middle of this doorway and line your crosshair with the top line of this box just simply like that and throw it and it's gonna land perfectly in the middle of the hallway and you could be safe for a bit now if you are taking and you want to block off the a main entrance just simply stand at this wall right here hug it and place your crosshair at the right side, bottom side of this little thing that is right here sticking out. Just right there. And you simply take out your smoke and Fucking throw it. Fire. It's gonna land perfectly pretty much in the hallway. It, this smoke is very simple and you can use it very, fly, very, very quickly and on the fly. Just like that, you just come here, aim there and throw it. And pretty much always it's gonna land and cover the A main entrance perfectly since this works out great for you if you want to block off this right gate there. at the middle just simply there is this first full line right here just go and follow it to the back side right here to the wall and then if you turn around there is this little island and you want to aim at the top of it where it meets the wall you place your crosshair there and simply Not throw your fire. smoke and the smoke is gonna land perfectly in the middle. That way you can simply try to push too short or it just gains you the mid control that you might need. On B with your smoke you just always want to be blocking this uh, entrance off. However, there's this little quick uh, one way which you can try to use. Just right here if you are playing in this line. Just simply st stand anywhere near this and try to throw your smoke right here. You just wanna run and right click with it. And as you can see, it creates this sphere. And when the enemies would be pushing there, there's no way that they would see you when you are on top of it. Right there. So you would be just simply playing right here and waiting for enemies to come. And then you can try to spray them through it. So once again, just simply stand anywhere on this line. Run forward and throw right it there. with a right click right here. Fire. And it's gonna land perfectly every time. And you can be standing. Just make sure you are standing on this little ledge right here. And you will have the advantage and lastly when you are attacking you can try using this smoke just simply in this uh, main you want to stand at this area right, right here there. on these bricks where there is this curve and then you place your crosshair on top of this right uh, iron bar in the window you take out your smoke and you simply you throw it fire. it's gonna land right here at spawn there's only given the small Right small there. area where the enemies can be standing but mainly it blocks off the spawn which is the main point of the smoke and then you can simply try to hold it if you peek this i would recommend you to pre-fire it as well since enemies can be always standing there and lastly smoke right for there. this mid market you just want to stand under this tip right here just right in the middle and hug the wall you, you should make sure that there's someone of your right teammates there. trying to hold this and use it only when you are know that you are safe to do it then you just simply place your crosshair in the middle of this iron bar pretty much at the point where it meets this little vent right there and you throw there your smoke and it's gonna bounce up and land perfectly in the market giving you the cover just like that so that way you would be safe to go and cover from market now let's move on to harbor signature ability high tide this ability will last for 12 seconds and you can curve this wall and it takes two seconds to go up so all you want to do pretty much you just want to be trying to block off this and you should try to block off this as well there are two ways how you can do it the simpler one is by, sim by simply doing wall like this as you can see it will block off this whole left side but you are should be still careful since enemies can be hiding in these corners 
and a bit more difficult one yet a better one is simply blocking off this wall and then curving up to heaven so just simply do this and you can then turn to the right and block it off like that since as you can see it's a bit hard to do and not really easy to do on the fly but usually there will be this little curve since it should not be a big problem you can always spam there and try to kill the guy if there's someone hiding when defending for example doing simply walls like these when the enemies are about to push is not a bad idea either you can always try to use them or you can do it from short as well just like that or when you are on site it's a bit harder to do but i would recommend you trying to use your wall through this wall like the he this and then just simply curve it in the behind so that way uh, enemies would not like to push through it as well and this wall doesn't doesn't block you very much so that you still have space to peek from behind it when retaking you can pretty much do the same thing as you did when you were uh, attacking however this time you just want to be blocking off the a main right so simply do this and then curve it to the left that way you would pretty much block off anyone in a main and there's no one gonna push you from this spot other way which i kind of like a lot as well is by simply doing your wall like this in the middle in the middle of a site as you can see it will block off the whole right side perfectly this wall just goes around everything super well so then you would have chance to just simply peek with it and clear corners and it will give you time and as soon as you clear all of these corners the wall will be removed and you can or you will have some time to reposition yourself behind the wall right here and then try to surprise enemies from off angles one of the best ways how to use your high tide is right here you just want to be standing anywhere near this area and then you want to block off market and spawn so you simply will do this send out to your wall and then curve it to the left and as you can see it will block over this perfectly and your teammates are good to go since these spots are covered for them or there are two other ways that might be helpful once again you want to block off the market and then curve it to the left just like that so that way anyone on stairs cannot pick your teammates so simply doing this and lastly for the last wall you just want to block over it like that so that way your teammates can push to the side as you can see you created a little a runaway for them so that way they can push you can, they can clear even this corner or you wanna try to hit this with the wall and then they would be good to go it would cover them once again a bit as well so they can clear corners easier and of course defending you can always use your wall like this very simply so that way you would block off the b main and then it would go also on mid so that it might give cover if the enemies are pushing there and help your teammates out lastly let's move on to harbor's ultimate reckoning one of the best spots where to use it is simply from this corner as you can see it would stun anyone in this circle on the whole a side and even a little bit of three as you can see and this one works great it would give you a lot of info and the enemies would have a hard time of course when you are retaken you can use your reckoning right from this spot as well you can make sure it goes under heaven or more into a main it depends on you i would recommend to stun in under the heaven rather than going more into the main as you can see it will still slide its way all the way in the back so you can get the info if there's anyone on b it's a bit harder to use but i would recommend you using it like this as you can see so that way you would cover uh, a spawn just like that and not right hit there. the boathouse since if enemies are hiding there you still are gonna get through them and gonna get close to the site and you usually can win your fights right there so using it like this works great stun spawn and anyone who'd be close and of course for retaking b side you just want to simply use your ultimate like this so that way it covers the whole b side and it gets you a lot of info and the enemies would have a hard, once again hard time staying on site and keeping them so covered and we will start with his first ability the cascade and firstly we will start when you are attacking so first of all you want to use this pretty much aggressively so that way you can push into the side so very simply using your ability like this will work out if you want to push with it and you can even stop it before it goes behind the wall so that way it would block off area like this there are also two more options which you can use right here on chart first one of them is this one just simply center your wall like this 
and stop it whenever it will be in this position so that way this close right angle the enemies cannot speak pq here and you will be only challenging anyone who would be right at limes or the second way which you can use right here on chart is very simply lining up this wall right so that way it will block off this side at lamps so then you just simply send it there and you block it off right now so that way anyone who'd be trying to pick you from lines will have a hard time trying to trying to hold this and you can get yourself into the site best way is how to use it at lamps is simply lining it like this so that way the end right is gonna be on the sides right of this just like that you want to stand a bit further and make sure that the cascade will go like this and what it does it will clear out these corners and it can follow it up and later on you just have to clear the right side and the enemies would have no chance of spotting you from the back side only thing that you should worry is there will be usually a gap on the left side so have that in mind when defending you want to try to use your wall from this area just simply like this there are two ways you can either make sure that the end is gonna be lined up with the back of the wall right here or you just want to make sure it goes all the way back so you just want to use it and pick with it and usually enemies would appear one by one and in the end it would if you go a bit further it would block off both of these sides the end and it would work as a smoke and cover for you when retaking there are two ways that you can use it you can use this like this so that way you will support your teammates and you want to try so that way it stops right here you can either stand a bit further away just like that and that way it would get you anyone who'd be in these spots and if your teammates push with it then it would block off this uh this short area as well and it would work out as smoke for a bit in front of b when you are attacking very simply just using your wall like this and your teammates who are gonna push and firstly clear the left side and then the right one are gonna do the job perfectly since they would be covered for a bit since when they are gonna be checking the left side if you are coming out of hookah one of the best ways to use it is very simply like this just send it out in front your teammates can follow it up and just walk behind it and that way it would also stop on spawn blocking off the view of anyone holding it if you are coming out of flank i would recommend you use it like this so that the end is gonna be blocking this right side off just like that and you can have your teammates push with it check the right side and it would still block off anyone who'd be trying to maybe up here or hold it with phantom or vandal right here when you are defending you can try to have your teammate in this area or you can be a bit closer as well and just when you know that the enemies are coming just send your wave there and if you if your teammates will have flash it would work out perfectly when retaking there are two spots that you want to might smoke off with your cascade right and it's gonna be in this window right and there. anyone right here so the first one very simply just send out your cascade blocking off the view of the enemies there and you want to stop it so that way the enemies cannot pick you from these spots and you can just simply go into the tube and get some space for your team on a retake or the other way around just simply send out your cascade like this all the way in the back and it would block off the area right here once again blocking of the long area and once again it will be covered for a bit now let's move on to second harbor's ability his scope his smoke and there is this simple lineup you just want to climb all the way here on top and place your hard line on this little tip of the leaf right here the hard line and the end of it just like that so that way your crosshair is aiming above the building then you just simply throw it the snowmoke is gonna land in a little bit right here blocking off anyone who might be wanting to try to block you or pick you or hold, hold you or from short. Another smoke this time for heaven you wanna once again climb all the way here on top stand in the middle of this little brick right there and place your crosshair at the bottom of the tip right here on the yellow line and just simply throw there your smoke. And the smoke should land perfectly right here on the side blocking off this entire balcony or this tower so the enemies would have no chance of spotting you if you are coming in when defending you can try to use this simple one-way lineup just simply go into the corner right here and if you will hear the enemies are coming just aim to the right side of the tip of this antenna to the right side of it and just simply throw it the smoke is gonna land perfectly on the box right there and that would create just simply this gap where enemies would have no chance of spotting you if you are all the way in the back if you are all the way back they would only see you if they were holding this close right close left angle 
another lineup very similar to the previous one you just want to stand right here in lamps and place your crosshair to the right side of this curve where this pipeline is just right here on the wall and simply throw it it's gonna land right here on the corner giving you to this little this little spot to work with since anyone who'd be trying to cross here would have no chance of spotting you and you would see him first let's move on to b side when you are attacking you just want to block off this elbow area for it all you need to do is go into this corner right there and place your middle line right here where these two uh, fences meet just like that and some aiming right now on the right side of it into that little corner and just throw it and it's gonna land perfectly in the elbow area covering anyone who'd be hiding there the next lineup when you are attacking is gonna be for the spawn area all you want to do is just simply stand in the corner right here and then place the side of the middle line right on this spot on the right side of this pole area just like that and then you simply throw it it's gonna get through these walls and land perfectly on the right side of it so the enemies cannot pick you and as you can see you would see there and enemies cannot go back side the next ability that we are gonna cover is high tide so when you are attacking on a the best use of it is from this a lobby area and you want to make sure that the wall will go right, right here and then you want to curve it right if it if, if possible to the left so you want to do it just like this that way it would create this higher tide so that anyone who would be right in a tower cannot kill you from there so just sim by simply doing this it's gonna save you a lot of lives another way how we can do this high tide is by simply curving it right all there. the way like this into the lamps so it should look like this and then you curve it just like that giving you space to plant as well as cover and lamps another spot where you can use your high tide is right here and you want to make sure that it goes right like there. this and right cross crosses the wall right here at the teleporter so it would look like this and you want to curve it like that so this one is pretty much perfect as you can see right anyone right here is going to be blocked off and all you have to worry is right about there. these close corners right which there. your teammates should clear Another way how you can do this is by simply doing right your there. wall just at these spots right there. So you want to curve it pretty fast oh, so it would look like this. And as you can see the wall is going to end up looking like this. So all you have to do is just to check the right side and then you be pretty much safe. Just make sure that you are throwing your, throwing your smokes that you don't accidentally wall bank from any spot. When defending you can try using your wall like this when the enemies are pushing. Just simply curve it all the way something like this so that way this is blocked off as well as this short area i think the best way to use the wall when you are retaking is by simply doing wall like this that way it will block off anyone who'd be on short and you are pretty much safe to go to try to tap the spike and the enemies would be under the pressure when attacking on b all you want to do is pretty much just block off this spawn area so you can just simply do it pretty much just straight up and then you can go into the side or you can do this similar wall from along however this time you are trying to block it right the there. elbow and as well right as there. the spawn so it would look like this you want to be close to this wall since you have to go pretty oh, far with the wall and then turn it and block it off like that only problem with this one is that the enemies can hide right in there. this corner but it, it's pretty much easily to be cleared just by simply spamming and waiting for enemies to be there but this one blocks right off the there. elbow and right spawn there. perfectly Another way is to simply use your wall like this, so that way you block off elbow and the front of the side. So it would look like this. And then you curve it into the elbow, just like that. And as you can see, you have a lot of space where you can plant and the elbow is blocked off. However, enemies are in the back of the side, you can try to push the back side with some flashes or just simply play for the post plant. When defending, you can always use your wall, for example, like this and block off both of the long area as well as the right there. as well as the hookah you can do this from the cubby right here as well all you need to do is just pretty much to curve the wall so that way it would end up being just like this pretty much the same thing however it is pretty hard right to block off the window perfectly when retaking all you need to do is to block off this right area so that the enemies cannot see you and you are pretty much good to go defuse so all you need to do is pretty much aim front then curve it to the right just like that 
and as you can see all this whole area the whole site is covered and you are pretty much safe to go to push in and try to clear those close corners since the other people who have no idea where you are and cannot stop you from going in now let's move on to reckoning your ultimate as you can see from showers it is pretty much the best to use since your circle doesn't get wasted as much so doing your doing your stunts like this should work perfectly as long as since it covers most of the site especially the lamps backside however it doesn't people close here if you try to do that from from this area right here it's not that easy unless you are pushed up at this area then the circle works pretty much fantastic as well and just simply doing things works out great too and as you can see it will even uncover anyone all the way here in the back when retaking A, simply do your do your ultimate like this, as you can see, just aim in front of you and everyone in lamps or anyone even far away on the shirt is gonna get ulted. Moving on to B side, your ultimate is even much more powerful. As you can see, it gets the whole, the whole B side as well as elbow. So doing this gets you pretty much everyone except people who are standing in the garden. And of course, if you are retaking try doing something like this once again gets everyone on site and as you can see everyone who will be anywhere near this area is gonna get ulted anyone elbow or it goes even far on the long and we'll start with these simple tricks which you can use right here when you are attacking so first of all when you are entering you wanna block off these three spots so all you can do all you have to really do is just take your wall out and make sure that it goes the right way so you just wanna look at the minimap and send out your wall just like this so that is what, so you wanna make sure that it looks like this and all you have to do is just simply like clear this corner and you can safely plant you can use this wall uh, just a, right immediately and then all you wanna do pretty much is either block off this side with your smoke or just simply throw one of your smokes right here so that you can safely plant and not to be worried that you are gonna get spammed through from any of these spots and then you can simply play post plant when defending or retaking you can use this smoke to block off the main entrance from cave all you need to do is go into the corner right here and place your crosshair on the bottom of this bolt right as i'm aiming at and then you simply throw your smoke the smoke is gonna land perfectly right in the middle of the doorway that way it would cover you if there's anyone trying to hold you or you can just very simply throw it from the stairs just like this just simply aim in the middle and run forward and throw it you want to be aiming right at this spot so that way the smoke lands perfectly like this using your high tide in a post plant is also pretty good all you really have to do is just simply block it off like this and most of the times the spike is either planted right here or anywhere in this area so that way you can clear it and you divided the site into two two places and you can clear firstly the back side and then you have to worry about this one but still even if you get your way all the way into the back side you can either smoke the main or just simply smoke the bomb and try to defuse also when you are defending you can we wanna play aggressive with harbor and all you need to do the best way to use his uh, cascade is right here just simply send out your cascade and follow it up you want to have your teammates with you as well so that the enemies have a smaller chance of killing you and of course you can do the same thing on mid right here as well just simply do it like this and you can make your way all the way behind this middle part so the enemies won't really expect you that to be already here pushed up and then you can try to peek them Another spot where using Cascade is a pretty good idea is right here in Jeep. As you can see it reaches pretty far in the back so all you need to do is just simply send out your wall and just follow it up just going behind it. And as you can see you can make your all the way here to the doors then open the doors and try to surprise enemies. You can also smoke it off after that or you can just use your wall before you go into the site so that your teammates can push from main as well. And once again you divided the site into two spots and you have this cool head glitch uh, where enemies would have a hard time spotting you if you were right here. If you're coming from mid to A, all you want to do your wall like this. So that way it curves that just like that and you have a good chance of attacking enemies as you can see. Something like this is a pretty good wall since it would block off the view of anyone who would be right here at the bridge. And you would have a lot of space to work with. You can get control of the site. All you have to worry is if there's anyone peeking right here. Or if anyone pushed 
in right these there. corners. When defending right here on B, you can have your teammates push out either right the elbow there. or just simply right from there. B main and you want to use your cascade Wait, just like this at the beginning of the round so the enemies would have a, a hard vision and you can just simply push this and Another benefit is that if there's anyone in window, usually these people would try to come here and help them out. But since there is this wall, they it would be very difficult for them to do anything and they would have to go through it. And once again, you have the advantage since you can see them first. When you are attacking here, there are two ways how you can use your wall. Firstly, the simple one, just right simply there. use it straight in front of you. So that way you block off the view of anyone who would be either right in the tunnel or coming from spawn or behind right behind the wall right here. And the second way how you can do this is by simply uh, trying to curve your wall a little, curve your wall right a little bit so that way right it goes there. through these corners right and you can get a lot of space as you can see. Something like this. And anyone who would be either here is not gonna be smoked off so you can clear right this there. simply. And anyone in the backside you just wanna flash through it and or you just wanna try to play for a post plant immediately. With this wall, as you did before, you wanna do something like this with your high tide, so that way anyone who'd be trying to hold you from this spot, if there is an upper or something like that, uh, it would be hard for them to do anything since they would be block have blocked off the view and it would be easy to push them. When defending, all you really need to do, you can either use your wall right here and you can even curve it all the way, all the way to mid, so that way this is blocked off as well. Or you can just simply use your smoke here. Right I would recommend you playing in this close corner since it gives you the most, uh, the most you are the most efficient at this spot. Another way is this simple smoke which you can throw right on top there. of this when the enemies are pushing. It creates a little one-way smoke and the enemies don't have to expect it and you can get some free kills when the enemies enter. So all you need to do is just simply jump, right click and throw right it there. on top of this. Something like this as you can see. And you would create a little one way so you would right see there. the enemies first and it would be hard for them to see you since usually the enemies would be coming right here and as you can see you have the advantage of skilling the, of spotting them first and seeing them when re retaking i would advise you to block off this right b there. main area so just simply from spawn you can do stuff like this and let it go to the right as well and as you can see it would block off this whole left side for enemies and it would not be easy for them to hold and anyone from main cannot really help them. And once again during this retake you wanna use your cascade ability either like this so that way you can push up behind the wall and anyone would be here would have a hard time killing you just the wall there is this little gap gonna be so that way you should just take care of that and aim here or just. This is the best one since it blocks right off anyone from holding spawn from this area. Since it's usually pretty common for enemies to be standing here. Very simple lineup with Harbor right if you wanna smoke off the window and go through mid. It's very simply go into right the there. corner right here. Place your crosshair on the corner of this roof. Right and you wanna run forward and throw it. So it would look like this. It will bounce up and land perfectly in the middle of the window. And anyone who'd be trying to hold you would have a really difficult time to spot you since they have no chance of coming in. Unless they wanna play really aggressive and try to stand here. But that's most likely not gonna happen or you can even use your wall to curve it so that way you would block off the sight of anyone in the windows and from the window right here from the doors and the window and it would look like this just simply curve it and as you can see you are good to go all you have to do is just simply clear these corners and go and continue on the site and last thing that i should mention are his ultimates right here on b the ult to do is super simple all you need to do is just simply place it right in the middle and as you can see anyone on the side is gonna get concussed and stunned when retaking it is a bit hard to do you would have to be behind this wall as you can see and then you would have to use it like this and once again you would get the whole side and anyone in there is gonna get stunned since as you can see from spawn it doesn't reach that far you can use it right here since the ult moves a bit f forward however it doesn't go all the way here in the back, but it still can gain you some valuable info. On A side, when using ultimate, all you just want to do is use it like this, so that way anyone either at this orange box or anywhere on site is gonna get concussed. So use it like this, and anyone in this area is gonna get stunned once again. And lastly, during retake, you want to use it behind this orange box, and you want to do it like this. As you can see, it blocks off 
it gets you anyone who'd be on site unless and even it will go a bit further into the cave and get corners right here and we'll start right here on a side when you are attacking so first of all in this a main usually enemies are holding this corner and the best thing you can do is just to simply use your cascade this way just like that and you can simply just push behind it and you can get a lot of space with this since if there's usually anyone up in here they would have no side of vision on you so this way you can gain main control super easily another way how you can use your abilities is simply right doing well like this, going into this right ailing and then trying to curve it right a little there. bit at drop. However, it's quite difficult to do all three of these. All you just really are trying to aim for right is there. this rope and right ailing. So it would look like this. And then you want to curve it. But it is quite hard to do. And as you can see, most importantly, right you want to block off this area and then curve, right curve it to spawn so the enemies would have a hard time going here. Another way how you can use your wall is by simply doing wall from here, right from drop to this spot. Just simply aim forward and throw it. And as you can see, this wall goes pretty high up. So anyone who'd be on drop would have a no chance of spotting you if you are coming in. Right here at the drop, you want you can use the same wall as you did in the AMA. Just simply doing this. And as you can see, it will just make its way all the way here in the back. And you can gain a lot of space by simply doing this. And then all you have to clear right is pretty much this corner. Right here from drop, you can do a simple lineup as well. All you want to do is go into the corner right here and get stuck here. Then you want to place your crosshair right on this spot. Right there. And you want to take out your smoke, run forward and throw it. So it would look like this. The smoke will land on spawn and and block of vision of anyone trying to be holding you from drop or from main. Very simple smoke and very helpful. You can also use a wall right here by simply doing this. And as you can see, the wall will be pretty high up. So if you crouch, the enemies won't spot you. But it creates a nice head glitch where enemies would have a hard time spotting you. And you can see pretty much their whole body. Your head would be right here in these in these flames on the top so super easy to do just send it out like this and you can try to take the 1v1 right here as well you can crouch all your way a bit further to the left so that way you can be in advantage when defending you can be playing on site or if you want to play aggressive you can do the same thing as you would do when you are attacking just simply send out your war and have your teammates push with it and you can get to really fire right here in a main or you can use this with for example breach stun and your teammates pushing in since everyone right here would be would be stunned and you can create a lot of space by using this wall of course if you want to smoke you can just very simply stand it here or here or you can curve it all the way here so that way you are safe from every corner as you can see for example like something like this the enemies would have a hard time going through it as well as here in the back depends on you how you want to curve it you can curve it even further or even here when you are retaking a side, you can do this simple lineup by just simply seeing this little square right here on the wall. You want to aim right here on top, go a little bit forward and just simply throw it there. It's going to bounce off and land perfectly in the door frame. Since anyone who would be in a main would have to break the wall and you would know that they are there or it blocks them off and you are good to go. And of course, using your ultimate right here on A side is super easy, as you can see, since it gets the whole side perfectly every time. Do And you can do this from pretty much any corner, as you can see. From A main or from, or from ramp, it works out perfectly. And even if you are coming for a retake from spawn, you can try to send out your ultimate more to the to the elbow or much to the ramp depends on you how you want to do it if you think that the, if you know that the enemies are here doing it like this works perfectly since it gets everyone who will be on the ramp when you are attacking b you can use this simple wall by simply trying to either curve it so it goes like this or just simply using it in the strength line so that way you block off everything perfectly so the harder one looks like this As you can see, everything gets blocked off perfectly. This wall is high enough, so there's no one right there. gonna be at this building trying to hold you, even if you are coming out of tower. Or the other way, just simply use it in a straight line, so that way you block off everything on the right perfectly. As you can see, it works out great as well. Real depends on you what you wanna do if you are feeling yourself and you can and you believe that you can do the harder one with the curving. This would do the job just fine. 
and of course you can do a very similar thing right here from from arcade you can either send it right all the way to the right b main there. Or if your teammates are coming from B main, just send it straight in the front of you. So it would look either like this, just by curving it all the way into B main. And as you can see, everything gets blocked up, right even with the A main, if there's if you know that there's someone pushed up. Or you can do the other way, just simply using it in the straight line like this, which would work out great as well. As you can see, it creates you this nice pathway and it would be a bit easier to kill enemies through if they go through it since you are you have to just aim straight forward in front of you you can be using your cascade either at the beginning of the round all the way here from the back so that way you clear anyone right here and if there's upper this would counter them or you can just use it even further anywhere here and as you can see it would work out great as well since it would get you anyone who'd be on site and of course, it would work perfectly fine when you are going from this spot right here. You can just make sure that it lands right all the way here in the back and then you can hit the tower. For example, like this. That way you would just clear the tower. You would be there in first and as you can see, it stops there in at the end and enemies cannot see you from that space and you can try to make your way all the way here to, right to the there. tower. If you want to smoke the spawn right with your smoke, just simply when you are coming out, you want right to aim there. in the middle of this glass pane and run Smoking forward and throw it and it would bounce up and block off the spawn area perfectly. When defending, it's quite hard to use your height type, so using your smoke would be super easy to do and if the, you know that the enemies are pushing, just simply try to stop them for a bit by using this. Or if you want to use your height type, you can just try to Water send out your wave like this so that way you stop them for a bit as well you can use this from tower but as you can see it would create this awkward space looking so i would recommend you being on the right side and trying to curve it li like right this so that way it goes through it as you can see and the this wall doesn't bother you and you don't create any space for the enemies of course you can once again play aggressive as well by simply doing this and pushing with your teammates on either side either at the arcade or right here in B main as you can see at the beginning of the round all you really want to hit is this corner in the back so doing it like this would work fantastically it would block off the view of anyone here and eventually it would go all the way back and once again using your ultimate on B works out pretty much the same as if you were a breach so if you use it right here when you are retaken then this one covers the whole B side even a bit of arcade and a bit of a B main you can al always go for more for either side depends on you and if you are attacking just once again go under the side and use pretty much the same ultimate so that way it would look like this anyone in tower or anywhere on site is gonna get hit and we will start when you are attacking right here on a so at the beginning of the round doing your cascade this way on the long is a great idea since it will create a lot of space for you and you can take control of long super easily it stops at the end there and as you can see you can try to peek this corner and you would still have time without anyone trying to kill you from this angle super easy to do and definitely use this right here if you want to try to attack on a i would recommend you going to sewers and there you can use your wall this wall you want to curve it so that way it goes through spawn and into the tower so it would look like this just like that and as you can see this spawn area is blocked up as well as the, as the heaven area it's quite hard to do since you don't want to leave a big gap here where enemies can stand however it's not that hard and if you try it at least a few times in custom games it should work for you you can also do a simpler wall however this time you are not curving the wall and you just want to hit it into the tower right at this spot so it would look like this you want to aim a bit up and as you can see the wall is just gonna block off this whole left side and go into heaven where it will block off the view of the enemies who might be standing here. If you've planted the spike you can create this simple one way right here on spawn by going into the corner right here and placing your crosshair in the middle between those two lines on the wall just right here and there you simply throw your smoke there. This smoke will land perfectly right here and if there's anyone coming from spawn they would have no chance of spotting you first as you can see you would have the advantage so just make sure that it is still smoked off and you are still in a pretty safe corner and you just want to throw it like that and it will land on the ledge right here and cover the spawn for you 
you can create a one-way smoke right here if the enemies are coming in all you need to do is just simply hug this back wall doesn't matter really where you are standing and place your crosshair on the left side okay. of this darker wall so that it, your crosshair is in height with this little tip right here so you want to place it at this spot and throw there your smoke the smoke is gonna land perfectly on right these there. boxes and as you can see you've created yourself a little one way which gives you the gives, gives you the benefit of seeing the enemies first if you want to be playing right in this cubby right here you can also create a one way for right the ramp by simply placing your crosshair in this right space right, right here where the, the, the darker and light and lighter wall meet just simply aim there and throw it right at that spot and it's gonna get stuck there and as you can see you once again created a little one way for a ramp this time but make sure that there's someone holding holding you push from short when defending you can also play, play pretty aggressive by doing your walls like this and simply pushing behind it and trying to get yourself in an off angle where enemies don't have to expect you and of course this works on short as well so that way you can either do it from here or just to support your teammates all the way from this area so as you can see it would make its way all the way on top of it like this and block off this view if there's anyone even further when retaking just simply do the wall which will block off the uh, right block of the sewer area right and the ramp so it's pretty easy to do you can do it all the way here from this spot Whoa, just simple like this and you want to do you can even do something like this just make sure you spray into this right corner there. if the wall blocks the view of that and then you can make the way on the side and you can clear more of it then the wall goes down and you can play for a retake and fight the other spots when attacking it's super easy to use your ultimate as you can see since it covers the whole site i would recommend using like this so that way it blocks right off there. even if a bit of ailing the whole sewers and right everything there. in tower and if you use it as you can ultimate see ready. it will travel a bit further so that way there's no possibility for right enemies there. to get quickly into the tower as well and of course the same thing works for retaken you can either try to hit under the tower more or enemy right towards the long but i would recommend you do it simply like this as you can see since it would get every corner at these spots super easy to do and this ult is very helpful when retaking attacking on b is once again super simple you can use your wall so that way it covers both of the both of the left right side there. and the right side as you can Water see right. to curve it like this for example so that way both of these spots even the top is gonna get covered and then all you have to do is clear the close corners or you can always just do the wall more right to there. the either the left or the right side Water. and then curve it for example like this so that way you won't have to clear as much of space and you are not peeking into uh, that many angles so you would have to clear just the left side for this for this example Another good idea that you should be doing is when you are planting, just simply throw the smoke under you and plant. In the best case, you want to have someone with you in the smoke. But still, enemies can always try to rush you or try to spray you, so this smoke should provide you cover while you are planting and it should be safe. And using your cascade while going on B is a good idea as well, since you can do it like this. That this will block off the view anyone if there's anyone open, and then it would stop on the left side. So then you all you have to do is pretty much just smoke the right one and try to clear the left one. Super easy to do, but you have to play with your teammates. Defending and retaking B is pretty easy with Harbor since you can use your wall either if you wanna clear right this or just simply send it this right way there. you can always smoke off the right side or do something like this for example so that way you will block off the right view there. of anyone backside or anyone on spawn so you can just curve the wall so that way it will look like this you don't have to worry of anyone right here and just simply clear the right side as you can see you can then smoke yourself up off on the bomb and try to defuse and when you are using ultimate on B, it covers the whole site perfectly, even a little bit of ceiling and ailing as well. So that way you are good to go when you are trying to retake. This same thing works if you are trying to retake either from ailing or from ceiling. Just simply do it like this. And as you can see, it will go all the way to the, to the mid to clear this cubby as well. And if you use it, it will look like this. When you are attacking or into the garage, you can line up your cascade so that way it stops perfectly in the window. So anywhere in this spot, if you want to use it, and you can simply push with it. And as you can see, you can clear a lot of spaces, spaces with it. 
it blocks off anyone in window then you can just simply try to resmoke it for example like this so that way the enemies have no vision on you or just simply throw it in the window so that way it bounces off and you can continue your attack on C by simply doing your ward for example to block off anyone who would be trying to hide here or anyone backside as you can see then you just have to clear the left side or if there's anyone pushed up on long when you are attacking on C, you can use this simple wall, which you would use even if you were playing Viper, just to simply block off spawn and garage. So even though it doesn't show that it reaches all the way in the back, it actually does. As you can see, just send there your wall, and as you can see, it, it goes all the way on spawn. So it's super easy to do, it will block off even anyone on the... On, on this wood right here, or you can send it to the wall more, so that way you can clear this easier. But it really depends on you. Other wall, if you just want to play for uh, for post plant and not really take control of the site, you can always curve it like this. So that way, all you have to do is just simply go into the site. Your right side is blocked off, and you should only clear this left one. And you can even curve it more, so that way it goes like this, and you should not be worried about anything. You just have to plant, cover yourself with the smoke when you are planting, and you are good to go. If you are backside and you just want to block off this view, you can be standing pretty much anywhere in this area and just simply aim in the middle of this flower on the wall. Aim your place your crosshair and run forward and throw it. And it should pretty much always land anywhere in this area, that way it will block off anyone on long. So you should be should be easy to, for you to stop them. When you are pushing on C using your cascade is a great idea as well. You can use it. To cover from operators like this and you can just simply clear the left and close right corners and the wall will just end up in the back side it would still cover anyone who'd be picking right here but you should still be careful of anyone who might be on this platform if you wanna ult seaside you should be doing it from this spot since even if you are further away it doesn't reach as well as you can see if i was all the way in the back so using it like this covers the whole side and gets every angle right here and will even cover a bit of spawn later on when that when it moves there and the same thing works when you are ulting when you are taken just simply ult the whole side you wanna make sure that way it goes a bit on long as well so that way you don't have to worry that there's anyone standing anywhere in these spots and trying to hold anyone coming out of garage when they're taking you can also use the simple lineup just stand in the middle of this window turn it around and there is this double window on the left side just place your crosshair above this line when it hits the middle of this roof tile just right there you wanna jump and throw it it would land perfectly in the long area and it would cover you from anyone who might be trying to hold you here another thing that i should mention if you know that the enemies are pushing c long on you just use your wave like this and try to spam through it so that way you are covered for a bit and you can try to wait and the enemies should get revealed if they are already closed up and they would not really expect you you can even reposition behind the wall so that way you are in a some off angle which they would not expect and then we start with false when you're attacking so the first wall is super easy all you need to do is just hit it on the screen then curve it to the right and you want to hit the rafters after that so all you need to do it should look like this and then you hit it to the right and curve it on there so what this will do it will just block off anyone who would be standing on this spot you can push simply to the left or even if you were pushing from the right you can see that anyone who would be on top of this cannot see you if you are pushing in so this is probably one of the best walls to do you can always just simply do the wall like this just simply on the screen and straight forward so that way you will block off the left side uh, this is pretty much you should do this always when you are playing Viper, so it is pretty much the same way as you would do it. Other way which you can do is simply send to your wall like this, so that way it will block off these spots as you can see. And it would block off anyone in heaven right here, or anyone who would be on the left side as you can see. When you are pushing in on A, you can try to use this wall, since it's pretty common for enemies to be standing on top of this chain right here where they would snipe you so if you do this well you can play super aggressive it will block off the right side for you as well and you can simply send out your other utility when you are pushing in when defending or retaking simply using wall like this should work fine since it will block off most of the spots where the enemies are coming from and it will be hard for them to get through it 
If you want to play a bit more aggressive, you can try using this one way. Simply stand at the line right here, hug the wall and place your crosshair at this right spot there. as some aiming at. And you simply throw there your smoke. It will bounce up and land on the corner right here. And this would create this annoying smoke where the enemies, if they would try to push, you would always see them first. Or if they would be coming out of smoke, you would once again see their legs first and you can simply kill them. Super easy to do and it can gain you a lot of kills and it puts pressure on the enemies. If you want to play behind this gen, you can always do simple walls like these so that way you can provide some cover for your teammates or just simply use your wall like this so if the enemies would be pushing it would be much harder for them to go in. Once again you can then reposition and take another angle to fight from. You can even play aggressive with harbor however it's much easier to support your teammates since one of your teammates should hit the zip line at the beginning of the round and push this and you as harbor you can try to send out your Cascade this way so that way it would block off any view of anyone right here and your teammate would be already already in position either on bottom or on the top right, right here. Using your ultimate on A side when you're attacking or even retaking is super easy since as you can see it will cover the whole side just like this so it would get screens or afters and right even the whole back side so it doesn't really matter how you do it but if you do it like this it gets everyone on the side. And of course this works for retake as well, you can either send it more so that right it there. even hits this corner in the back like this and as you can see it will get all of these spots and anywhere on site or even further away is gonna get concussed or stunned. And especially right here on a side when you are retaken, using your smoke to float over it on the spike is gonna be a life changer here since it usually enemies are playing for retake a bit further away so they would be either anywhere in this spot you can delay them by a lot by simply throwing the smoke and you can even defuse the spike with harbor it is super easy to do mid pushes when you're attacking so you can either throw your just smoke like this and then send it all the way into this spot so it would look like this and as you can see anyone on the right side is gonna get blocked off perfectly and the enemies would have no chance of fighting this and you can do a simple mid pushes or you can do a quick pushes towards a as well just simply you wanna block over the left side of the tube and try to hit the boiler as well so it would look like this just like that as you can see everything on the left is blocked off the boiler is blocked off perfectly and then you can for example use your cascade when you are pushing even more just by doing this and trying to clear the left side and you would get really far super easily and super fast since you would usually catch the people of guard since there's not many people who, who are holding middle there's usually only one and the rest of this on a and yeah of course you can be aggressive on middle when defending as well just simply doing this at the beginning of the round for example creating a lot of space for yourself and trying to clear the left and you can get far really fast at the beginning of the round when you are attacking on B, using your cascade right here, it's gonna be a game changer since no one in the back or on the top of the tube cannot really kill you and you all have to just, you can just very simply clear these close corners if there's anyone right here. If you've moved closer, you can try doing this wall which will block off the nest and the spawn area so it would look like this and as you can see Anyone who'd be in these spots is gonna get blocked off perfectly and this fall is gonna stay up for 15 seconds So it should be enough time for you to make the push on the side When defending if you know that the enemies are coming in you can try to use this simple swan way smoke You just wanna aim to the side of this wall right here in the height where there is this uh, Little opening at there. So you wanna aim like this right here and throw there your smoke and the smoke is gonna land perfectly on the corner right, right here there. and if you are patient enough the enemies might push it they would usually not try to push it from this spot since it would be very difficult for them to peek this close corner and they can peek even from the far so you have a great one way smoke to use and even playing aggressive at the beginning of the round is super easy on B since using your wall like this blocks off both of the sides and you can try to choose which way you want to push and try to surprise enemies from either side as you can see and you get really far when retaking all you want to do is just be using your wall so that way it blocks off these two spots which where usually enemies gonna be standing so if you do something like this for example it should do the job just well 
And then you want to throw the smoke on the spike and try to defuse since it would be difficult for enemies to do anything against that. And if you have your teammates who are covering you, it should be almost impossible for enemies to get you off the spike. If you want to use your ultimate on B, I would recommend you using from this safe spot. So that way you hit yellow and sight as well. So it would look like this and anyone either behind the yellow uh, is going to be in trouble or anyone on sight or anywhere near it. And when they're taking, this agent gets even better. As you can see, it will cover this whole area right here, all the way here, right where enemies would usually camp and try to hide. So you can try to use, use it simply right like this and use the ultimate. ultimate and it will get anyone behind the yellow or anyone right in there. B main. And one more wall that I should mention, when you are defending, you can try doing this wall. So that way you want to we throw right it like this and curve right it to there. the right so that way if their enemies are already pushed up close you can still what stop them by doing this simple wall for example like this as you can see it would block off the view of the enemies only spot right here if there's anyone right there. pushed up on top that's only spot that you should worry about but still this is a great wall and enemies would hardly ever push this since they don't know what's on the other side waiting for them and we'll start right here in front of A when you are attacking with these simple walls. So first of all, all you want to do with your wall is just right simply there. block off the left side, this right side of right this there. box and the right, right side there. of it as well. So you want right to curve there. it. So it can look like this. You want to curve it right now and it can go all the way in the back. And as you can see, when you get here, this side should be clear and all you really have to clear is the close right side. You can combine it with your smokes either throw them right here or here so that way you can plant safely and you're not gonna spend through it there are also two lineups for smokes firstly this one you want to stand in the corner right here and place your cursor on this little line under this one just this one most to the right of it and simply throw there your smoke the smoke is gonna land to the right side of this box covering the pit greatly so that no one can spam you throw it from it and you can even plant or you can try using this other smoke, you just want to stand in this corner right here and place your crosshair in the middle of these two lines, the most left one and the second left from the left and just place it above the pillar just a little bit. So it should be looking like this, you just want to be aiming above it right here and you simply throw your smoke. The smoke is gonna land perfectly on the left side right here covering the stairs perfectly so no one can spam you from there and it, and it gives you the cover as well when you are defending b you can try using this wall if you know that the enemies are pushing you can either use the wall to simply curve it to the right immediately so that way you will block it off perfectly and you can even block off this side if you decide that you wanted to block it off as well but most importantly you are blocking the a main or you can just very simply from the back side anywhere really throw it so that way you hit it right here on this corner and it would bounce up and land on the stairs and you can be waiting for enemies to come when retaking right your you mostly important or importantly want to block right off this a main so you can do this either either with the smoke just simply right aim there. all the way at the top before it curves and you just run for it and smoke up. there it will bounce up and land there perfectly or you can just very simply use your wall and just curve it before it goes that way as you can see both of these cases work but Right you don't want to do the wall if you have your, still your teammates right coming there. from this a to the side since you will block them off as well. When pushing on A-side you can also do this wall and combine it with Cascade. So such as simply do the wall, send there your Cascade and you can just simply follow it up into the side and clear the corners right there. Since the enemies would... you can push this with your teammates and it's gonna work out perfectly since enemies cannot really do anything against that. Right, right here, if your teammates want to push right this A art, you can try to support them with doing your cascade like this. So that way it stops right at the back right here. And it will clear out for the enemies these front positions and they all have to worry right stand this left side of the mid connector. Or of course you can do it from here as well. And you can by yourself push it as well. Just simply clearing those close corners and then taking care of this spot. The wall will disappear and you can continue to push onto the side. If you want to be pushing these mid doors, you can try using cascade so that way it stops at the mid connector and it would be hard for enemies to peek you. Just simply use it like this and let your teammates go with it. And you won't have to worry about anyone really standing here since it will block the view of theirs and they would usually fall back before 
behind the wall. If you want to push these mid doors, you can also block, block it off with the wall like this. And then when you are 